Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on how to create a custom theme from scratch using the Builder Pro plugin from Themify. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this custom product archive template. In WordPress, an archive is a collection of posts or products being displayed based on a particular criteria. The most common archive is a simple blog feed or a category page. Now, in order for the Builder Pro plugin to work, you will need to either have the standard Builder plugin installed or simply use any Themify theme. For this tutorial, I'm still using the Alter theme from Themify. As usual, we'll get started by creating our custom template. To do that, we'll go into our back end. We'll go to Themify Pro Templates. We'll click on Add New. And for type, you want to choose Product Archive. Then for display conditions, we want all product archives. Don't forget to give your template a name and click Next. We'll choose blank because we're going to create this template from scratch. Go ahead and click Publish. First thing we're going to do is add our title. To do that, we'll click on the green plus sign and we'll choose Archive Title. We'll make it an H1, and under Styling and Font, we're going to choose Playfair Display. We'll choose black for the color. For font size, 60 pixels, and we'll center it. Click Done, and next we'll add our products. Once again, we'll click the green plus sign, and we'll choose Archive Products and drag it underneath our title. We're going to choose to enable the masonry display. We'll show nine products per page, and we will leave all of these selected. Image, title, description, price, and add to cart. Under Styling, we're going to go to Container, and for shadow, we're going to add a 5 pixel vertical offset and a 15 pixel blur. And we're going to bring the opacity down quite a bit. A nice subtle shadow. We also want some padding on the bottom. Let's try 15 pixels. Oh, let's try 30 pixels. I'll use the up arrow on my keyboard to increase that. Looks good. Could probably use a little bit of padding on the sides as well. Let's say 10 on both sides. There we go. We'll click Done, Save, and we'll check it out. I'm going to take a look at our product category of shoes. Okay, let's compare this to our finished template. Looks pretty good. Looks like we might need a little bit more padding above the container. And we still need to style our headings and our descriptions for each product. Let's do that now. To go back into the editor, we'll click on Edit Template. and we'll click the pencil. We'll go to Styling, Title, and for font we want Playfair Display again. For font size, 17 pixels. And then we'll go up here to Description, Font. For this one we want Open Sans, and 18 pixels, and then we'll go to price, font, open sans again, fourteen pixels, and done. We also wanted to add a little bit of spacing above our entire container. 
To do that, let's go into the row settings, styling, padding, and give it some padding on the top. Let's say 50 pixels. We'll save, click the X, and let's check it out again. This is looking pretty good. Let's compare it to our finished template. Looks like we got the font sizes correct and the styles. Our button colors need to be black instead of red. And our price is not quite styled right. Looks like our shadows are pretty good, though we could make the shadow a little less opaque. OK, let's go back into the editor. Let's fix the price first. Click the pencil icon to open the editor for the product archive. And we'll go to the styling tab and choose price. Under font, we want to choose 16 pixels and bold. Then we're going to go ahead and fix the add to cart button. Our background should be black. And for padding, we want 10 pixels on the top and bottom and 18 pixels on the left and right. And we said we were going to lower the opacity of our shadow a little bit. So let's go back to Styling, Container, Shadow, and lower the opacity just a little bit more. There we go. Click Done, Save, and we'll compare it to our finished template again. OK. Things are looking pretty good. We do need to fix our pagination. We want to center our pagination and get rid of this red color. Let's go back into the editor. We'll click the pencil again. Styling. Pagination container. We'll go to font. And we'll choose center. Perfect. Now we also want to go to pagination numbers, font, and choose black for the color. OK, let's save this and check it out. Very good. Well, there we have it. We just created our very own custom product archive template from scratch without using any code using the Themify Builder Pro plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.